You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Let's go. Pretty good, man. What's the million dollar question? Uh, the million dollar question is: I know you think you were the champion of the year, right? Okay, you, okay. you, why? Why? Why do you think okay. you, Ooh. in your own opinion, of why you beat those guys okay. out? Okay. Pause. Okay. Pause. Right. Pause. That. Right. So look, if we broke it down, like, so like, let's say right now in this culture, the to gauge wins and losses, the the, the the only system that's considered right now is the app. Because once it comes out after caffeine, everybody say, well, let's wait till the app come. You know what I'm saying? And according to the app last year, the only battle I lost was to run Nitty. Uh, every, every, every other battle I had that dropped on the app, I won. DNA, Calico, Math Hoffa, you can check them. It's all on there. You know what I'm saying? Won all those battles according to the fan votes on the app, things of that nature. And then the one losses to Nitty, but that was a judged win. Mm. Out of the four judges, three of them picked me to win. So... Uh, technically, I'm undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Last year, with like nine battles, and I battled some of the tough competition. Three of the dudes I battled was in the top ten. I mm. battled DNA, he was number seven. I battled A Ward, he was number five. Rum Nitty, he was number four. You know what I'm saying? Then I had other dudes on that list that was still like formidable opponents. Loaded Lux, if he battled three times, he automatically gonna be somebody that's in the top 20. You know what I'm saying? Like Dre Dennis, we did a one rounder, but he was in the mentions of being in the top 20. They just knocked him off at the end and put T-Top right there. So like I had probably the strength of schedule that was easy, impact, you know, the strength of schedule that was, I'm saying easy for me, not easy, you know what I mean? They thought I was giving it to him. You know what I'm saying? It was easy, a no brainer that, you know what I'm saying? I had the strength of schedule. We talking uh, impact. You can say some of the things outside of, I think the top tier disc was impactful for easy. I definitely agree with that, but we talking about like, shifting the culture the battle with loaded lux was a culture shifter you know what i'm saying at that point people hell no nah, we still looking for him <laughs> but uh you know what i'm saying you definitely like got got something like a battle like that where everybody started looking at lux differently you know what i'm saying as far as like oh he needs to come outside more he needs to battle more now they questioning where so it changed everything in this in a in one battle that's impact you know what i'm saying it's not too many battles where you get to battle somebody and then next thing you know the whole culture shifts from that where they consider like oh geechee can be an in-game battle boss to somebody now for a new generation like the generation that they was in has came and went and it's a new generation now a new era i'll so, agree with that so the impact on foot for that was good you know what i'm saying i think also like another one of their things is like material you know what i'm saying like not saying i had the best material but i'm like like we just seen him uh, on the thing like consistency consistency and um, i'm gonna always give you replay value shit. it's not no battle that you're not gonna watch again you know what i'm saying like that's that's the reason why they always got me headlining or somewhere around the top because I'm a battle that they know for sure they can count on to give you good material. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't going you ain't gonna go to sleep during my battle, I ain't a smoke break dude. I'm not one of them dudes. So, like, you get that. You know what I mean? So, I felt like, yeah, that's the reason why. You know what I'm saying? And then, if you look at it, out of everybody that's in there, this is another thing I think people didn't take for consideration. Like, yeah, I wanted three out of the five, but all five years I've been in the top ten. It ain't even nobody else that's been in the top ten five years in a row. You look at everybody on the list. Nobody else even been in the ten at the same time. You know what I mean? So that's just showing the work ethic that I'm constantly in the mix no matter what. I was fourth the year I didn't win it. You know what I'm saying? I had a great year that year. Battled damn near everybody from goods to twerk that year. You know what I'm saying? So it just, you know, I think definitely, man, I just show year after year that it's a it's an incentive. So I think this year it's going to be a lot more people that's trying to get it now. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Now they looking like, man, I'm tired of it. You know what I mean? I, I see a lot of people say, I want to win yeah, I this year. Now, you know, and, and I, that's what I always wanted to be like at the end of the year. It's really like 15, 20 people that you could be at number one. Like everybody fighting for it. Like the MVP race where you know like, yo, these six, seven dudes right here, it could be Kawhi Leonard. It could be, you know what I mean? Giannis. It could be LeBron. It could be Curry. Like they all going crazy hard and like you know what i'm saying like it's a toss-up it's like we benefit from that yeah we benefit from everybody from working yeah, hard everybody working hard so yeah that's what i'm looking L forward last to. thing i want to ask yes, on sir. that topic and i got one more thing i want to ask you uh if we take loaded lux out yeah. of your uh Ooh. your year okay um okay. now how like does geechee still win champion of the year this year it's tough like it would be a lot closer i think if you take lux out for me it was it like the defining moment is the, is the tournament, but we split the money. So even though the judges reveal who they picked at the end, a lot of people, like I say, the, the votes had Nitty. So like he would have a stronger case. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the thing was served. Like I think at that, I think the Lux was that, 
you know what I'm saying? That defining push over moment. Here, that defining moment. Okay. Kind of how easy not battling Mook kind of, you know what I mean, would have been something. If he did, that would have been a defining moment. So, yeah, definitely. I still probably feel like I, yeah, I would have had a good chance of winning it, but I do feel like the Lux was like that icing on the cake okay. type of battle. Most definitely. Hell yeah. Like, I needed that battle. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go.